Hello, this is Aiden McDonald with GOS Performance and D-Stroke. Uh, this video is specifically targeting uh, data logging once your transmission has already initially been set up, as well as if a new revision of a tune is provided, how to load a new tune onto the controller and to program it in. So to get started, I'm going to minimize that screen. I already have PCS software installed, assuming at this point you do as well. So we're going to open the software. And what I'm going to show you first and foremost is how to make sure you're online and ready to data log. So I'll drag the screen over here real quick. So blue screen simply means we are talking to the device. We are not in the calibration or the software yet. So it's critical at this point that we read. Now you will get a pop-up window. This is just simply saving this current tune file to a default location. No need to do anything here. Just simply click save. All right, now there's a couple things to pay attention to here. Blue screen didn't change, but we now have a drop down toolbar on the left hand side. You are within the system and within the calibration file. <clears throat> so at this point, it is critical to go up here to the top toolbar, open the monitor screen, <clears throat> select data stream. This is probably the first uh, data log issue that I deal with on a daily basis. If you do not see a dashboard, do not start data logging. Uh, for instance, if you see this screen and you start data logging, this is what it's going to data log and we cannot manipulate tune file based on this data log. So let's get back out to data stream. So we're clear on this, is what you want to see blue screen and a toolbar. At this point, we are ready to set up the data log. So to set up the data log, start log, and go ahead and click start logging. You are not data logging yet. At this point, my habit is to target the desktop. That way you're not looking around on your computer wondering where the file that we are gonna data log goes. I always target the desktop. At this point in time, you've already experienced uh, issues or changes that you would like to see occur within the transmission tuning. So let's just say for argument's sake, hard fourth gear shift. So we're just gonna call it that hard fourth shift. And the reason we do that is I prefer you give me good description on what you're wanting me to change. And that is what I will focus on within that data log. So hard fourth gear shift. At this point, as soon as we hit save, we are going to begin data logging. So if this is, uh, let's say you're going all the way up through the gears and on your way down through the gears, you want something to occur differently. The smaller the data log, the more I can dissect the data. So I, I prefer people to keep a data log no longer than 60 seconds. So if you need to get out in traffic first, for this to occur, at least have your computer to this point so that you can safely drive the vehicle and it's one button click. So when you hit save, we're data logging. So you'll notice on the screen that the start logging is now grayed out. Stop logging is prominently black. We're data logging the transmission currently. So run the tranny through so that you can catch the issue that we are gonna try fixing. Once you've caught that issue, stop logging. Now what'll happen in the background, that file is now on your desktop. You don't have to go hunt for it. It's easy to find. It's easy to drag into an email. Maybe you wanna catch some more in a data log. Maybe there's multiple issues that you'd like me to catch. You simply just have to go to start data logging, target the desktop, Third gear shift to late. 
Again, wait until it's ready to data log traffic. You're where you can actually replicate the issue. Hit save. We're now data logging. So catch the anomaly or the issue that you're trying to get fixed. Hit stop logging. We now have two data logs on the desktop, easy to drag into an email. Now the final step is I need to make tuning changes on the file that's currently in the TCM, no different than we just data logged the file that is currently in the TCM. So at this point, what I recommend you do is file, save calibration file. Let me drag the window onto this screen. Current tune, I generally pick the current date, 114, and let's just say this is version one. As we grow through versions, the version will change one, two, three, four, if needed. And the reason we do that, it helps keep track of the tune versus the data log. There's been many times based on a data log, I'm making changes, customer calls back or emails me back with a data log. I make more changes only to find that the tuning file doesn't match the data log. So hopefully this will make sense here in a minute. Again, we're gonna target the desktop and save. What we have done, we have saved a copy of what currently is in this transmission on our desktop. At this point, the two data logs, and I'll show you what they look like here. Hard shift to fourth. Third gear too late. and current tune. So now what I would ask you to do is email me the current tune file and the data logs associated with that tune file. Now, if you want to really stay organized, right click on your desktop, new folder, V1. Now you can have V1 tune, and these are version one data logs. Now, I'll make the re requested changes to your tune file. I'll email the tune file back to you. It'll come in email form. Don't try opening the tune file direct from your email. Save it to your desktop. Otherwise, most of the time the computers are looking for the software or search the internet for the software to open that tune file, bypass that, just save it to your desktop. All right, and I'm gonna show you how to navigate that. So I've sent you a tune file and for argument's sake, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's just call this V2. and I'll send it back out to the desktop. So let's go back into the software. File, open calibration now at this point. Located on your desktop, current tune file, V2. Double click it. Blue screen, toolbar. It's not currently in the TCM yet, write the calibration file. All right. Now, once that process is done, your tr transmission controller has version two installed and programmed in it and you can now begin the data log process again if needed. Again, make sure you have the right data stream chosen. It's data stream, dashboard, toolbar, blue screen. You're ready to start data logging again. Hope this helps.
Let me know if you'd like any revisions to the video. Look forward to feedback. Thank you.